Hello there, welcome back to some more Tears of the Kingdom. In the last episode, what we did is we went through this uh, zone and found a shrine hidden underneath the uh, ground over there in the far corner. Now we're going to go down to this shrine that I can see over here. It shouldn't be too hard to get to. This might even close to get me there immediately, but it definitely won't be too long. There we go. Might even overshoot it at this point. No, it might be okay. It looks like I'll overshoot it a bit. Jakai Shrine. Okay, bing bong. Let us fight. And uh, then I want to uh, do something else too. Go to the other sections on the left. Jailbreak. Jakai Shrine. Okay, so we have to get ourselves out of super prison. What about it makes it super prison? I don't know. I've just decided that's what I've made up. We're gonna have to do like weird things. Like this. Then get this over here. To then do this. Right. But then to what end? It doesn't seem to be anything up here, but this just might be the like showing you the idea of it. Okay, so is there a box there? No. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Duh. Don't just do it on the moving pieces. Do it on this ceiling too. Sometimes my brain gets sort of wrapped up in the oh, it's on moving bits. No, it's on any bit that has a ceiling. Literally any. It's fine. Okay. See if there's any. Here's the here's the, the clue. There's a chest here. Gimme a magic staff. Don't need. Don't want. We'll take just so the game says you've had it. Damn it. Thank you. Right. Just the game's like, okay, you had the chest, don't worry about it. Do you reckon this will sit? Not quite. If I slide it in between the two, will it stay? No. I bet it will if I do a bit of jiggery pokery. Which is real words, I promise. Okay, got it up there before, I'll get it up there again. Right. It's like overhang it in such a way that it doesn't flob off. But just give it enough. I can uh, get up it. This should do. Yeah. Right. Then 
I need to get into that central pillar, don't I? So I need to manoeuvre this in such a way that I can get, like... I need to, like, wedge this. Sort of like that. But it needs to be wedged better, obviously. I've got to make, like, a wedge. So I'm trying to get to the underside of this. I mean, I, I might be able to do it like this if I'm careful. Okay, being careful of the weight. Yeah, so this puts me in, this puts me in prison, which is why the the jailbreak. So now it's the same sort of idea again. I've got to put this in such a way where it won't fall in and won't fall off. It might be better if I lean it against the wall. Damn. We thought about that. There might be a wall close enough that I, I thought maybe I could do that. See that that works, but it doesn't. It's not far enough over that I can do something with it, so it doesn't quite work how I want. Aha! Yeah. Now this might tip as soon as I walk on it. It didn't, but it could have done. And I'd have to run across. Right. No prison can contain me. I'm Joey. But okay, good. What we got? Orbulon. One away from another heart. I want to get up to 20, so. Then I might try and go towards the third stamina wheel. 20 is the old max health. It's not the max health anymore, but it's the old max health, so that's how I usually stay at Zelda. 20 is good. Um, but I think it goes up to 30 probably now. But my main problem will not be health, it will be armour. My armour values will be too low, that's why I keep dying. I need to improve my armour to the point where I don't just get shrek Every time I do anything. Oh, heading to green. Baby. Let's go. I've got a lot of pins. What are all these pins? Oh, they're just... They are what they are. Okay. I'm head to green first then. Let's do it. Should be able to make it to green quite easily. It's just the top of the mountain, right? The very peak. You're about halfway there already, so... I'll be a little bit shy, but not much. Cluda Sky Archipelago. No, I might actually make it. I did.
There we go. That was enough force. Enough weight on the chain to make it go pop. Okay, now head down to yellow. If I hear any, see any shrine symbols, I'll let you know, but... Probably could have used that spring as well to boing it out. As we know, that's something that works. So I'm looking for stables. I'm looking for... Well, mainly stables, but shrines as well. Of course. I'm just going to places I think are interesting. Alright, mate. Where's your friend? Okay. Sure. Quite a ways, but that's fine. Right. I'll see you in a second when I figure this out. So I need a weapon with about 75 power to really do a dent in them. Because the improved flurry... I don't know if it's double, but I think it's about double. The improved flurry rush might do double damage in flurry rush. So I might actually just... Like, my weapon is 37, so it would be 74 in flurry rush. So if I had a 74 power weapon, then most things that were silver goblin anyway would take quite a lot of damage. So a 37 and a 45, they're not awful. They just take twice as long. Well, not again, not quite, but you know what I mean. Right, where's Addison? I almost forgot about you again. But I won't this time. He's over here, isn't he? Right, let me help you build your sign. Right, it's just a, a classic... But that's stopping... Well, actually, it's really easy. That's really, really easy. <laughs> like it was designed for it. There you are. Try letting go. There you go. It'd be better if I gave it more uh, surface area at the bottom so it moved less, but, you know, it's fine. A red rupee, thank you. Give me the electro mushroom rice balls, yes. And a middle bird, okay, great. I'm very glad. It's a little bit tilted, but... No more than I am, I suppose. There might be a well over here. Well, well, well. Well, it's not really a village ruin, so it might not be a, a well, but... There's definitely a Korok here. Okay. Please launch yourself off of the nearest platform.
Ja, ha, ha. Bye bye. See, because I never use a horse, the horse drawn carriage stuff isn't really useful to me. So I put this as the centre of the ruins as a place that I was a little bit interested in. It's the hands. Runic bow. I need the bow. Probably fight them like this. Just don't want to get grabbed by the hands. Yes, yes, very good. <laughs> bye bye. Can I take a picture of you? I can, but there's nothing to take a picture of. They knew I wasn't going to fight fair, so I was like, alright, fuck you then. I'm out of here. To which I say, fair enough. <laughs> I wasn't going to fight fair. I have no idea how you fight them legitimately. They seem really hard to kill. Because they're so aggressive. I think with lightning bow and a big swingy weapon so that I could swing at them before they have a chance to grab me, it might work, but... Fuck off. This is an arm strike did that much damage to me. And an arm is shit. Oh, my big my big cutting axe broke, but Got a new plan. Using one of those silver bacoblin horns, I've now got a few of. I can uh, really do some damage. The silver boko blade, 38 power. It looks fucking stupid, but is a fairly powerful weapon. So it's good. It, the sword itself looks nice, it's just the little... Why has it got a little tinkly orb at the end of it? I have no idea. out for caves, treasures, other such phenomena. A 
but I'm uh, going to be going to the top of this mountain real quick. And the 256 hours of Hero's journey will show me where I've been. Was that another Sakura? Ooh. Girl? I'll show me where the caves are in this part of the world. That would be very, very helpful, in fact. To solve the little dispute I've had. Also, I've, got, I've had an idea about solving the puzzle to do with, like, bur Born of Water. What's Born of Water? Well, water itself, but... Um, steam, ice, they're, they're all born of water. There's a different state, so maybe that's something to do with it. I think this is this one for this side of the world. So do you like Fruits, or do you like vegetables? You also like fruits. Thank you very much, horse friend. I, I leave his apple. He deserves the apples. I leave them for him. Yeah, so I need to go to blue to get to that cave. Because there's a cave around there somewhere. And it was bothering me for ages. And I have to edit out me not finding it like a fucking twat. So now I've got to do these things. Okay, right. So let's go over here. Let's find this blue cave. So I'm guessing this one is for this half of the world. And the other ones for the other half of the world. Maybe drawing all the light beams at once was too much for the game to process, but they can manage half. Which is fair enough. You have got to draw a load of UI things, or in-world objects maybe. But they are just light and shiny, and it's kind of like, a lot. At least I'm hoping this is what this did. I'll be able to tell if I go in the sky, won't I? I'm hoping that, I, I, yeah, it's still there. Okay, I was gonna say I could have sworn that it's not. Um, if you warp away, it goes away because it's not. That's not how it works. Now the only thing I'm hoping for, it's kind of a, a dumb hope, is that I didn't miss a cave in a stupid way. But it's looking like I missed a cave in a stupid way. I'm hoping that there's a cave like, in a place where I couldn't, like I couldn't open it. Like the one in uh, the Thundra Plains, or Plateau, where it's like a cave, but I didn't know how to get into it. That's different. Then I don't feel so bad. If it's just, oh, there's a big obvious cave here and you're a fucking twat, then I'm like, oh, that's not fun. There's blue here, but I'm going this way. So maybe I, yeah, maybe I wasn't. That's in a new zone. You bitch. It's fine. Oh, that's that one. Yeah, okay. There's a few caves here. Yeah, I didn't come this far afield. There are caves all across this bit that I haven't seen. Some of it is in a zone I've not been to, to be fair, but... It's a sludge monster. Oh, that's a shadow. <laughs> I was like, it looked like a sludge monster. Now, is this cave somehow going to lead me to that shrine? Okul's Navel Cave. It might. Yeah, it is. Ah, it's more than that. Follow the beam to its end and offer the crystal there. Do so and I'll feel like the banish is evil. Nope. 
Kirkwood's naive cave crystal. Oh dear lord. There's baldies. Coming at you fa Life comes at you fast. See what this chest is about. See, that's, a, that's the thing about a game that knows it's a game. It doesn't care about showing me the boulders spawning. It's like, yeah, you know they spawn. D I'm not going to insult your intelligence. You know they spawn from nothing, so why would I bother pretending that they don't? despawns. It's heavy, so it despawns in the water. So you can't get into a situation where you just can't do anything with it. But I don't think they're aiming for me, it's just random. If where they spawn, it's probably like a random part of the channel where they can be and then they just roll as they will. It's almost harder to get hit by it to be honest. Such a casual disrespect for the shrine thing. I'm sorry. I'm moving. Yeah, so, I, yeah, again, the shrine sensor didn't necessarily help me find this one, but Satori definitely did. I'm probably supposed to recall this. Toki Shrine. Thank you. I can take this blue away. Wonderful. Wunderbar. Okay. Let's go. Was this just a Raru's blessing? Yeah, it is. Okay. Bing bong. Okay, another large as an eye charge. of the heart piece or heart container a full heart not even a piece all right that's good so now i can go i'm going to try out this other shrine thing because i know it exists it's, it's bothering me that i haven't solved it yet so i'm going to go f f try and figure it out let me out of here you know you want to I guess I can just do it from the cave exit, like, or like here. Whee! I'm surprised how often you find yourself not in the cave that you thought you'd be going to. There's the navel cave. What's over here? Oh, it's out of my purview, so it's not my problem. What is my problem is over here. Where is the... the shrine puzzle, isn't it? Q. 
He's born of water, that's it. So it's here. Now, I think I'm in the wrong side of the world now. It, the, the light beams won't be shown, but it's still a very, very useful thing to have if I need to find some caves and I can't figure out where they are. Also, who wanted a picture of a shrine? Someone did. I mean, um, of a statue. Someone wanted one, definitely. Yeah, this one. Down Ox is living. Okay, so here's my thinking. Quest's name. Born of water. Ice is born of water. Steam is born of water. You know what I mean? Like they're, they're, it, it's all water. So, there must be something to do with that. Now, what is interesting is these holes. They're diamonds, right? But what is a diamond but a square turned on its side? I hear you cry. Right, if I try and fuse, I'll see which one's which. That's a flame, that's a... F Ooh. It's a frost emitter. So this thing emits cold. So, what does cold make me? Well, it makes me ice. So I'm going to try that first. Uh, uh, the, the steam won't really help me unless I can find a way to bottle it or something, which I can't do. So. I'm going to need a few ice sheets. I'm going to fuck this up, I'm sure. Let's take like six or seven. Obviously not what I meant to do. Oh, you broke all of them. It's not ideal what I've done. That's fine. Okay, so. Looks like it will fit. First sheet of ice fit perfectly. These are the sheets of ice, though. They're too large for the recesses, so I need to make them ever so slightly smaller. How do I do that? Well, with a 
with a uh, flaming emitter, of course. That I'm going to put on the top of this barrel so that it doesn't fall over and cause havoc. Then if I bop it... Well, I broke the barrel, but I didn't mean to... Obviously, I didn't mean to do that. Right, put it near the fire. So it burns. How much smaller has it got to be? Not a lot smaller. Try that. Okay, ready, that's too small. Oh no, it went. It's fine. There's some leeway, that's good. And then the smallest one just has to fit in the smallest one. Let's touch the fire for a second. There. Will that do? Ever so slightly smaller. Just a tiny, tiny bit. Like that. Like that? Nope. Even a little bit smaller still. There we go. See, my problem was... I thought all of these were fire emitters, and they're not. The fact that one's a frost emitter does make a huge difference, and it might have clued me into the fact that I was supposed to be making ice. Jachishu Shrine. A what now? <laughs> Another blessing for moi. Thank you. A big battery, mate. It's a big old battery. Yeah. Bing bong. Thank you. All right. So. I'd say it's a good place as any to stop. I've uh, made quite a lot of process. I've got 69 nice shrines. That's the sex number. <laughs> I'm nearly 30 years old. <laughs> um, right. Where are we headed? I guess, firstly, of all, I should check if there are caves in this general vicinity that I've not seen. This hasn't been a day yet, so I think the beams will still exist. And if that's true and I can see them and I can point to them, I'll put pins there so that when the beams go away, I don't lose them. Because that seems sensible. Another cave right there. Interesting. That's that one. That's some forests. One is that one. So, what's that one? One I don't know about. Hello, mate. Can I grab on you? Okay. Ganadra. You're cool. Because <laughs> he's a nice dragon. <laughs> Right, um, that's down the Hateno Beach. So I put a pin there because there's like a, there's not a, just a shrine there, but there's like a light beam there. Yeah, that one's definitely that one. The one over there, that's the uh, one over there. 
Yeah. I know what I'm talking about. I'm interested in it because I, I'll forget that this one's here. The red one is one that I know about. If I don't do this one now, I'll forget about it. Because it was down below a ridge, I didn't think I could probably, or properly, make a, uh, a pin to it to point to its direction. The Walnut Mountain Cave. Just a good place to get bombs and seeds and... weapon. Oh, it's a Heriblin's. An actual blue Heriblin. A real one. Shit. Need a new bow. I need lots of new bows, to be honest. Die in water? I guess not, because they're cave creatures. These guys can also be used to make things that break rocks, so I shouldn't be too precious about it. You fuck yourself up. He did, didn't he? He's like, I fucked it. <laughs> he just fell down the cliff on his own. Didn't even do anything to him. Silly bitch. Okay, good. Right, let's go. Oh, the bubble frog's just here. This cave's weird. It's more of a pass-through cave. Elfos stuck in here. What? There's a boss book goblin here. Oh, he's there. Uh oh. See ya. That led to this cave. It's the same cave. Two sides of the same coin. So technically, this cave could have led to a shrine, but it wasn't specifically. Just gonna break this and then leave. See you later. It wasn't specifically for that purpose. Bye. Right, now I can stop. I broke the uh, expensive gems. Okay. See you guys next time when we go to the depths again. Because we want to see what's down here. We've got some light routes to find. See if there's any light routes we don't know about. Probably not, but we'll see. Got this whole bottom right hand side of the corner of the map that we want to sort of fill out. And then afterwards, I guess, 
I'll check in Hateno Village to see if the, the election's actually ready to happen. And then if it is, we'll do it. If not, we'll go here. One of the other zones I could have gone to straight away from the middle. See you then. Goodbye.